The Shanghai World Financial Center (SWFC), Chinese Shanghai Huanchu Jin Rong Zhongxin, is a super tall skyscraper located in the Pudong district of Shanghai. It was designed by Cone Peterson Fox and developed by the Mori Building Company, with Leslie E. Robertson Associates as its structural engineer and China State Construction Engineering Corp. and Shanghai Construction Group General Co. as its main contractor. It is a mixed-use skyscraper, consisting of offices, hotels, conference rooms, observation decks, and ground floor shopping malls. Park Hyatt Shanghai is the tower's hotel component, comprising 174 rooms and suites occupying the 79th to the 93rd floors, which at the time of completion was the highest hotel in the world. It is now the third highest hotel in the world after the Ritz-Carlton, Hong Kong, which occupies floors 102 to 118 of the International Commerce Center. On the 14th of September 2007, the skyscraper was topped out and is 492 meters (1,614.2 feet), making it the ninth tallest building in the world and the fourth tallest structure in mainland China. The SWFC opened to the public on 28 August 2008, with its observation deck opening on 30 August. The observation deck offers views from 474 meters (1555 feet) above ground level. The SWFC has been lauded for its design, and in 2008 it was named by architects as the year's best completed skyscraper. In 2013, the SWFC was exceeded in height by the adjacent Shanghai Tower, which is China's tallest structure as of 2017. Together, the Shanghai World Financial Center, the Shanghai Tower and the Jin Mao Tower form the world's first adjacent grouping of three supertall skyscrapers. History. Designed by American architectural firm Cone Peterson Fox, the 101-story tower was originally planned for construction in 1997, but work was temporarily interrupted by the Asian financial crisis in the late 1990s, and was later paused to accommodate design changes by the Mori Building Company. The building of the tower was financed by several multinational firms, including Chinese, Japanese, and Hong Kong banks, as well as by the Japanese developer and American and European investors. The American investment bank Morgan Stanley coordinated the tower's financing for Mori Building. Construction. The tower's foundation stone was laid on 27 August 1997. In the late 1990s, the Pierre de Smet Building Corporation suffered a funding shortage caused by the Asian financial crisis of 1997-98, which halted the project after the foundations were completed. On 13 February 2003, the Mori Group increased the building's height to 492 meters (1,614 feet) and 101 stories, from the initial plans for a 460 meter (1,509 feet, 94 stories) building. The new building used the foundations of the original design, and construction work was resumed on 16 November 2003. A fire broke out in the incomplete SWFC on 14 August 2007. The fire was first noticed on the 40th floor, around 1630 GMT plus 8, and soon the smoke was clearly seen outside the building. By 1745, the fire had been extinguished. The damage was reported to be slight, and nobody was injured in the accident. 
The cause of the fire remains unknown, but according to some sources the preliminary investigation suggested workers' electric weldings caused the fire. The building reached its full height of 492 meters, 1614 feet on the 14th of September 2007 after the installation of the final steel girder. The final cladding panels were installed in mid-June 2008, and elevator installation was finished in mid-July. The Shanghai World Financial Center was declared complete on 17 July 2008, and was officially opened on 28 August. On 30 August 2008, the tower's observation floors were opened to the public. Topic. Architecture The most distinctive feature of the SWFC's design is the trapezoid aperture at the peak. The original design specified a circular aperture, 46 meters 151 feet in diameter, to reduce the stresses of wind pressure and to reference the Chinese mythological depiction of the sky as a circle. It also resembled a Chinese moon gate due to its circular form in Chinese architecture. However, this initial design began facing protests from some Chinese, including the mayor of Shanghai, Chen Liangyu, who considered it too similar to the rising sun design of the Japanese flag. Peterson then suggested that a bridge be placed at the bottom of the aperture to make it less circular. On 18 October 2005, KPF submitted an alternative design to Mori Building and a trapezoidal hole replaced the circle at the top of the tower, which in addition to changing the controversial design, would also be cheaper and easier to implement, according to the architects. Foreigners and Chinese alike informally refer to the building as the bottle opener. Metal replicas of the building that function as actual bottle openers are sold in the tower's gift shop. The tower features three separate observation decks which constitute the floors above and below the aperture opening. The height of the lowest observation deck, located on the 94th floor, is 423 meters 1,388 feet. The second, on the 97th floor, is at a height of 439 meters 1,440 feet, and the highest, on the 100th floor, is 474 meters 1,555 feet high. The skyscraper's roof height is set at 492 meters, 1614 feet, and was at one point the highest roof in the world. Before construction on the roof was completed, the SWFC's total height was scheduled to be 509.2 meters, 1671 feet, so that it would exceed the height of the Taipei 101, but a height limit was imposed, allowing the roof to reach a maximum height of 492 meters. Architect William Peterson and developer Minoru Mori resisted suggestions to add a spire that would surpass that of Taipei 101 and perhaps one World Trade Center, calling the SWFC a broad-shouldered building. The SWFC boasts a gross floor area of more than 377,300 square meters, 4,061,200 square feet, 31 elevators and 33 escalators. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Structural efficiency. The tower's trapezoid aperture is made up of structural steel and reinforced concrete. A large number of forces, such as wind loads, the people in the building and heavy equipment housed in the building, act on the SWFC structure. These compressive and bending forces are carried down to the ground by the diagonal braced frame with added outrigger trusses. The design employs an effective use of material, because it decreases the thickness of the outer core shear walls and the weight of the structural steel in the perimeter walls.
Topic Tenants Shanghai World Financial Center hosts the office building for many international financial companies, including those involved in banking, insurance, securities and fund management, such as Ernst & Young, Morgan Stanley, BNP Paribas, Commerce Bank, Bank of Yokohama, Sumitomo Mitsui Banking Corporation and Korea Development Bank. Google's Shanghai branch is located on the 60th-61 stone floors. Topic: Transport. Shanghai Metro, Line 2 at Lujiazui Station, then take a 10-minute walk. Topic Awards Shanghai World Financial Center was named by Architects as the Best Skyscraper completed in 2008, receiving both the Best Tall Building Overall and Asia and Australasia Awards from the Council on Tall Buildings and Urban Habitat CTBUH. CTBUH's Carol Willis, head of New York's Skyscraper Museum, stated, The simplicity of its form as well as its size dramatizes the idea of the skyscraper. Architect Tim Johnson noted its innovative structural design, steel trusses guard against the forces of wind and earthquake and made the building lighter, made it use less steel, and contributed to its sustainability. Johnson described the SWFC's structure as nothing short of genius. Topic Gallery Topic See also List of tallest buildings in Shanghai Bottle opener